Okay, so your browser has been infected with this search.sidecubes.com. It's basically a, a redirect virus or some people call it a browser hijacker. Basically hijacks or re to redirect your home pages and your tabs to sidecubes.com. I'm going to show you how to remove this manually. It's easy to do. But I'm going to show you only on Google Chrome for Internet Explorer and Firefox. It's pretty much the same steps, but if you want the exact steps, click on the link below for the steps for IE and Firefox. But first thing is first, before you do anything, you have to go into the control panel and go into the Add Remove Programs. And the thing is, like a lot of times, uh, everybody's going to have it under a different name. So, and I'm going to show you the possible names it can be under. So you want to look on your program files where you install programs and these are basically the culprits these all these words here so look under all of your um, your installed programs if you have any of these words in there okay search or side cubes or, or web search default search can do it save safe protect these are all culprits or browser, browser hijackers and depending on where you download it it could be a different name for uh, different for each of you sometimes it can be even under the um, the, the corporation's name that made this browser hijack or sometimes it's like something something LLC it's totally different than what's down here but anyways everything down here is pretty much going to solve it for all of you guys if there's something in here that you guys found that was part of it please comment in the bottom so other people can see it once you guys uninstall it and you may have one or two of these in there or you may have none if you don't have none that's okay too then it's only in one basic place and that's under your managed search engines but we're going to go through everything together okay so the next step open up google chrome top right hand corner you want to click on this little three bar prong and we're going to go down to settings wait for this to open up we're going to do four things in here okay first thing is right here on startup you want to click right below here where it says set pages and if you see that sidecubes.com here anywhere, just highlight it, click on the X, and click on OK. Some of you guys will have in some places in here, some of you guys won't. Next possible place, you want to look under here under Change. Or under Appearance, you want to click on Change. You see sidecubes here, same thing, get rid of it. Next spot, and this is where most of you are going to have it, it's going to be right here Manage Search Engines. Click on that. Now, if you see side cubes, guys, anywhere on here, simply highlight it, click on the X. Same thing down here. You see something, side cubes, highlight it, click on the X. And also, anything else you guys will know in here that you're not familiar with, highlight it, click the X. And then make your default whatever you want. Mine's on uh, Google.com. If I want on Yahoo.com, just hover over it, click on Make Default, and it will make the wording in bold. And there you go. And the last step, you want to scroll all the way down, and we want to do is a reset browser. Actually, this might be the second to the last step. But scroll all the way down and click on Show Advanced Settings. So I'm going to click on there, and I'm going to scroll again to the very, very bottom. And Reset Browser Settings. Now, here we go. Don't forget, guys, if you reset any browser ever, you are going to delete everything. Your history, your cookies, your favorites, your bookmarks is all going to be long gone. Click on reset, follow the prompts, and then close and reopen Chrome, and you should be good to go. However, if you're not, and this is going to be for some of you guys, and it'll be gone, however, your shortcut, like for instance, here's my Chrome shortcut, so I'm going to right click that, and I'm going to go down to properties. Your path, your location is in the wrong area, it's pointing to that browser hijacker. So you can see mine here is pointing in the correct location under program files, Chrome, and then Chrome.exe. If you're using Internet Explorer, it'll be like Internet Explorer slash uh, iExplorer.exe, or if it's uh, Mozilla Firefox, it'll be under like program files, Mozilla, then Firefox.exe. Uh, Anyways, if you guys have uh, any questions or comments, just comment below and I'll try to help you guys out. And that's it. Thanks and have a good day, guys. Bye.